Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to search for patents in case you need technical specifications of a past invention or if you're looking to see if your idea has already been done or if you want to check to see if your invention isn't too similar to a past invention. Today we'll only be focusing on patents, not trademarks. That's another story for a different day. So we'll click here on search patents. Now don't be overwhelmed with this tre tremendous amount of information. Much of this will be useful later on when you begin to pursue the actual securing of the patent. This link called How Do I Know If My Invention Is Patentable will take you to lots and lots of information about what a patent is, what it can and what can and cannot be patented, how to get your invention patented, etc. Also notice the, these links, Patent Forms and View Schedule B, to get pointed in the right direction so, and so you can be aware of how pricey it is to patent something. Continuing on, we're only going to concentrate on the Patent Full Text Database and the Patent Application Full Text Database. This is where you'll be able to find information on patents as well as things that are currently in the patent process. When we click on the Patent Full Text, it takes us down, to the, down the page and you'll have options for Quick Search and Advanced Search in a patent number search. If you already have the patent number, this is fairly easy. However, most likely you do not have the patent number, so let's look at Quick Search. As you can see, we can enter two words and select a Boolean operator. I'm sure you've worked with them before, but if not, they're very logical. If you want to know about speedometers, but ones that are specifically on bicycles, you would use bicycle and speedometer. If you want to learn about speedometers in general, but for example, not automobile speedometers, you would use speedometers and not automobile, or not car, um, whichever term you want to use. If you're curious about something but you're not quite sure which term is used or if you want to return articles about two different subject, you would subjects, you would use OR. So if you're feeling lackadaisical and you just want to see patents about speedometers or odometers, whichever, you'd use, obviously, speedometers or odometers. So searching for bicycle and speedometer has returned a lot of results, and I'm sure there's a useful one in there somewhere. But these fields are to the right of the search box can narrow the search even further. For example, I'm going to search for all records that contain bicycle and speedometer in the title only. You can search for patents that have the keyword in a number of specific places, including the patent examiner, inventor's name, invention description, etc. So if you know that there was something invented by a guy named, for example, Elvis Presley, you could find the invention by searching for Elvis Presley and selecting the inventor name option. Note the select selected years drop down. The database is full text from 1976 on, but you can find some information for inventions from 1790 on. Now let's look briefly at the advanced search. This is pretty difficult to use, so unless you're looking for something that's fairly generic and would return lots of results, you can probably do a quick search with the quick search, uh, a perfectly good one. But for the sake of thoroughness, if you want to search for several different keywords in several different fields, you would type the field code listed in the table below, then a slash, then your keywords. Note that you can build more complicated queries here as well. If you want a patent about bicycles, and you want anything on either odometers or speedometers, you could type TTL slash open parentheses bicycle open parentheses odometer or speedometer close parentheses close parentheses. Note the examples on the left. Let's briefly look at the patent really quick to see what information is given. As you can see, patent number, issue date, inventor, related patents, description, etc. are included. If there are images related to the patent, you'll have to click the link called Images to go to the files. You can actually buy the patents by adding, to the cart, adding them to the cart and checking out. Note that you can click Previous or Next if you're browsing through a long list of results. If you want to search for applications for patents that have not yet been granted, you can use the application patent search. This has the same options, quick search, advanced search, and patent number search. It looks and operates just the same as the patent search, so you should have no problem with that. And that's how to use the United States Patent and Trademark Office's patent search.